This is the Real Eyes Recognized Podcast. Now your hosts, Dustin Gutkowski and UFC fighter Kevin Holland. Hey everybody, it's us here again, Real Eyes Recognized in Houston, Texas with Mike The Truth Jackson. Sir, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Awesome. This is a uh, cool little, 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 uh, little thing y'all got going on. Like a little podcast studio? Yeah, this is straight. Yeah, it's, it's like mobile up. and shit, you know what I'm saying? Just pop up. Pop up podcast studio. Yeah. Let's do First it. road trip. We might, oh, we might need to get one of these tables for real, for real. I got one at the house, but I, I got some like bad words written on top of it, so we might need to buy a new one. What kind of bad? Oh words? no, we need we need uh, one like this, and every guest we have, they they can sign it. I was yeah. about to say, so maybe my feet yeah. or something. My cuss word can just start it off. There you yeah. go. Yeah, I'll dig it. Why I'll do you have cuss words on a table? <laughs> it's kind of random. I, so nobody would steal it. You know, we all play dominoes, and you never know when your your table is gonna go home with somebody else. Yeah. Why, wait, wait, wait. That's a problem. Wait. That's a problem wait. in the world. You you play dominoes and catch steal tables. I mean, <laughs> bro, a lot of things happen. On table? I, I get a lot of things, but table. I mean, but you never like we be like sometimes it'd be like four tables there, and then somebody be like, "Yeah, that's my table," and I be like, "I thought that was my table," but then I just wrote on there, and now it's my uh, table for okay. sure. That's fair. I, I get that. I get that. I get that. I don't want to play dominoes with them casters. <laughs> I, 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 I get it. What kind of people? <laughs> no, I dig this. It's cool. All right, really Mike. Appreciate that. We want to talk about you because uh, you're badass. Right, that's why we came down here. I do a little bit. Uh, I dabble. You do a little bit. So can you talk to us about Shits and Giggles? All right, so Shits and Giggles, right, it, it really started. You, you've you always heard that phrase growing up, right? Yeah. I just do this shit for Shits and Giggles. And my entire existence, for the most part, is based off that. I was fortunate enough to have an upbringing where I didn't really have to go out and get a job and work and things like that, right? I had a family to support me and, and, and dreams and shit. And coincidentally, it just happened to be that fighting was the thing that kind of propelled me into where I am now, right? So I have going through life like that. Because, again, we just it's fighting. Who thinks this is a real job, right? Going through life, and then one day I was like, oh, shit, this is what I want to do. On the flip side. Six hours later. So, like I said, it's just for the fun, though. Because I ain't got shit else to do. This is all I do in life. So it's, it's, it's fight and train and it's take film, pictures right? and yeah. And just have fun. Content bro too, right? Do a bunch of filming. A little content credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. So that's what I do in life. And so that's my okay. motto. Okay. So what's up with, what's up with fighting? I enjoy it's I I have a particular set of skills. Yes. And with right matchups, I think I shine. So I give I it agree. give for me, I don't have to fight. I just do this shit for the shits and giggles. I, I do it for fun. And giggles. I agree. So <laughs> I remember you seeing you fight XKO. Yeah, yeah. And Dog, he didn't have a cornerman. He brought a lady out for a cornerman. I mean, pure entertainment. And it was a Muay Thai fight, right? <laughs> it was a Muay Thai fight. That was fun. It was fun. So how did how did you like fighting for XKO? That's that. that you would know, be a question. I I want to go back. It, it it was different because the last time, well, I had never experienced a square cage before. Yes. The first person I even knew had a square cage was Mick back in the early Lone Star beatdown days, <laughs> yeah. like 2005. They ran the Home Depot to like push it together for the cage, <laughs> and so when I get to when I get to XKO and I see it in person, I thought it was a it was a cool little vibe. Yeah, and, and then fighting in there, it has you have a ring vibe to it, but yeah. it's a cage. You know what I'm saying? So I actually dig it, and you know me like the box. Yeah, it only kind of made sense. It was fun. Though. Yeah, and it was that Gas Monkey. It was. I like that venue from. Yeah. Uh, from a fighter's perspective. Yes. Not so much as a, a fan, fan's perspective. Because, yeah. you know, you get the cats way in the back. Yeah. I don't really, eh. They do Texas <laughs> Live now. So I think it's a lot better for the fans. Probably a little, sh I think it's a little shittier for the fighters because it's cause outdoor type weather. Oh, uh, shit. But, uh, yeah. Yo, you ever, be, you ever been to outdoor fights? No. I did. I remember this one time. It was in Austin. Uh -huh. And Austin's not even a fight town, but it has some out fights out there. It started raining, huh? No. Well, oh. oh, no. I've been to two outdoor fights. Yeah, the first one was one. Uh, in Huntsville. Mick did a, uh, it was a legacy or Lone Star Beat Down Amateur Series. That was crazy. But the one in uh, uh, in Austin, it was, you know, Texas is real humid. Yeah. <laughs> and the bugs came out. Oh, <laughs> oh no. So you got cats like fighting, and then you see like little little beetles and shit like walking over. So <laughs> I'm over there. I, I want to say I was doing my blogs at the time. So I'm like K side, and then I'm looking at the Beatles. Like they on the ground right here, they grappling or some shit right here. And you just see a Beatle walking to the foot. And I was like, damn. Is he? Cause, all right, pausing that. Y'all know I tickled, tickled CM Punk in the yeah. fight, right? So here's the thing. In the moment, I always wanted, like, if you want to fight, right? You got, you got this motherfucker, he's beating your ass. Are you going to laugh if you get tickled? Yeah. I always wanted to know that. And then for me, it. did he laugh? He didn't laugh. 
Okay. He didn't laugh. Fun so fact. that for me, that was the moment Damn. that I was like, this is it. I, what other opportunity am I going to get? Yeah. So to the point back to the Beatle. Hey, where Charles did. Did he? I tickled his feet. So where'd you, where'd you, where did you, where did you, yeah, where did you I tickle him? I tickled him like right here. Yeah, so I reached over right and I tickled Hayward Charles' feet like this. Co Coach remembers. He's over there. I heard him do a little chuckle. He, he remembers <laughs> this. I, I tickled his feet and he kind of looked up like, uh, and I <laughs> spin and I took his back. And, you know, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I almost Izzy, you know, and costed him. I almost, uh, after the, I don't think they call that ticklish if a, if a I don't think that's ticklish. I think there's another word for that. Maybe it was a foot fetish thing, huh? Whatever. I just wanted to see what the beat was gonna get. It was gonna tickle him on the feet. Though. That's all I wanted to see when I was. I don't. Do you think he would feel it though? Dude, you know people. I mean, feel Hayward, bugs. Hayward felt this. So I mean, yeah, he would. Feel. He he had to have felt that. Yeah, he had. If you've got yeah. a bug, and I did this to his feet for the cameras and everybody watching. I did not do that to anywhere else. It was his feet. <laughs> I did it before. to whatever. <laughs> what part is this? What's, what's but how'd you do it though? Did you do it like this? No, no, no. I just. Because <laughs> I, I, I remember I was on, I think I was like top half or something like that. And I looked around. Oh, you was on top. I was like, but. And you was hitting it like that. And I did it. Yeah. <laughs> and then I looked back. And like, shit, he ain't laugh. Damn. <sighs> oh. <laughs> like, like, you got both tickled like nonchalant. Y'all think yeah, the grown man in a fight. But that's like, cool. You know, I actually just played that you yeah. said that. Like, now I know that someone else had the same mindset. Maybe he wasn't ticklish. I just I think you been. should try to get on another. I think you should redo that fight and tickle him again. Yeah, yeah maybe a different we just spot. Tickle people while we're uh, on his feet. Just... I should tickle your mouth. <laughs> should have. I probably should tickle Brunson too. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, and Vittori. Yeah, yeah no, 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 and Lovato. Why you and fight these Allen. angry? Why are people so angry when they fight you? I don't know. I didn't say anything at all. No, I'm just kidding. Everybody, you you come in contact. I never say anything to them. I don't do anything on Instagram or nothing. You I don't know why they're angry. Them. I don't get it. I don't. I don't do anything. Is it your personality? It's probably the Instagram post. Uh, but you, you know, have, you tell people they have a shitty beard and you're gonna trim it. That was that wasn't even me, bro. I would never cross that line unless you wanted me to trim your beard. Then I, I have no it. idea why people would get. Oh, shout out, you. shout out to Manscape. You know, uh, I do a lot of business with Manscape. I think I owe them a a, a post from yeah, like 2021. So uh, that was like last Christmas, I think it was, or yeah, last Christmas I owe them a post from that. So shout out to Manscape. Uh, is that where you're going to use Manscaped clippers to trim his beard, his shitty beard? It, oh, you when you're on the go and you got to be a pro, of? go Manscaped, ho. You see that? That shit rhymes. That's nice. Uh, there it is. New tagline. Broom. You know what I'm saying? I really I don't. love my Manscaped. You, which one you got? Uh, the I lawnmower. Got, I got the original, whatever the original one is. No, I got the new lawnmower. And guys, I'm here to tell you right now, take your time or it will still nick. So take your time when you're down there. Don't just be trimming fast. I agree. Did it tickle or no? I agree. Don't tickle. Nah, depends nah, depends nah, where you shave at. Where's your favorite place to shave? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just make sure well, you, you know. You, you've noticed I've you never mean? had a beard here, so I, I, I shave that at least two times a day. You've never had a beard. Today. Two times. You should wait. You shave two times a day. Yeah, you know, manscape it two times a day. I'm just hoping that, like they say, when you trim hair, it comes back thicker. So I'm just that's trimming. True, that's nothing way. that's there yeah. to hope it comes in. You you've never had a beard. I, I got this right here, but no, no. that's not a beard though. No, no. If what you, happened? I, you know, and, I, and here's why I'm asking because I hate it. I got I got a lot of hair. Bro, I fucking hate it. Look, and it, it's like I listened to Lil Wayne in high school, and he, and he had this song called you know uh, Cat Monster. And I tried everything on the song, and I still didn't get a beard. So I don't know, If honestly. you shave twice a day, it's probably not going to have the opportunity to grow in. Just throwing it out there. Okay. That, that, that also isn't a thing, by the way. Just letting you know. Someone tell me Gross. that. Uh, we can Google it this. It don't work. Yeah, I don't think that works. I don't think it works. You have no beard, so obviously <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> I think it might be an hereditary <laughs> thing. Okay, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about something else. Uh, uh, Dustin Adair, somebody ask this man another question here because right. they're on my beard I and one. I don't have one. Uh, I love the beard. Dean Barry. Thank you. Uh, Yo, I was really trying to holler at his baby moms last week. <laughs> <laughs> on Instagram? <laughs> no, a fucking person. Yeah, yes. Who? I saw her. Who's that? Dean Barry. What's she look like? Spot. She's oh. fine. Her name is uh, Shauna. Shauna. Ah, fuck. What's she look like? Just a, you know, you got her Irish Instagram? white chick. Yeah, let me but see. People her. that don't know, there's a reason why. All right, so while I'm there's, pulling there's up her Instagram, Rem remind you guys, remind you guys this. While, while he's pulling up the Instagram, he was trying to holler at this Irish chick, white Irish chick, right? Shauna Bannon. And this whole time, and, her, and I ain't gonna lie, it sounds like a black name. Uh, but this whole time, we we started this podcast. He's he told us about the 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 white people that he be going at it with. 
So he has to be hollering at this girl for shits and giggles. Just throw that out there. I mean, again, my problem is I, I have a problem with white people. I have a problem with people don't, white people that don't like us. Pass it over. Anyway, so I'm fighting this kid named Dean Barry, this Irish guy. He's like, oh, we're going to bring him in. He's like the oh, she not Irish bad. world champion kickboxer she for Mike Jackson. And I was that. like, cool, that's that's my speed. Yeah. As I'm fighting him, I'm like, yo, if I, I they got to give me his titles if I beat this guy. <laughs> like, because he's not good by any means, right? In the fight, dude... Basically cheats because he's frustrated, kicks me in the dick twice, tries to rip an eye out. Following the fight, I gave him a pass in the moment. Following the fight, he says, yo, you quit. I was like, wait, that's not how this works. You can't do some, some, some illegal shit to me in a competitive sporting event and then say, I quit. You can't do that. That's not how this works. Kick in the dick twice and I, I poke. Tried to rip your eye out. First two shots of the whole, the first two strikes that landed were dick kicks. Damn. And then the other little punches came. And then even with that, I was like, yo, like you could have just kept punching me. And he was like, nah, I want your eye, which is is what it is, right? Hey, so anyways, man. following the fight, I give him a pass because I could have I could have really went at him. But I was like, you know what? He He's about to be cut anyway, so he got his own shit going on. Put a pin in that. Before the fight was made, he's in my DMs like, yo, I'm broke. I got a baby on the way. I got a girlfriend to take care of. I need this fight. Make the fight happen. I was like, yo, I'm not a matchmaker. Oh, that's not how this works. Anyways, all that happens. Following the fight, he's basically saying, I know I did this crazy illegal shit in the fight here, but he could have kept going and he quit. I don't as a as someone who comes from a traditional, not myself, I come from boxing, I have a boxing background, but for him, he comes from a traditional martial arts background, essentially. You lack fucking the warrior spirit, the Bushido. You know what I'm saying? When you coming out saying I did some illegal shit and then this guy didn't want to continue. So went at him a little bit. He faded away He get because he gets released. Goes to Titan. Now, while we're at, I said, ran to him at the PI, having a conversation. He's like, yo, I'm going to 145 pounds. And I looked at him, a little chunky. Good for you. That's where you need to be. The next fight is a 55 fight. Now, you just came from 70. You're not even a real 70 year Right, he couldn't make fifty five. His kidneys fucked up. Me being the petty guy that I am, shits and giggles for shits and giggles. I hop in his DMs and I was like, I was like, look at you. I say, look who quit, because you look, you quit on the scale, you bum. And then he re- he was like, ah, oh, fuck you, you piece of shit, cunt. Irish people love the word cunt, by the way. Yeah. He called me a cunt. And was I like, like I could have died. And then I was just like, fuck you and your kidneys anyway. I don't care. And so. That was the end of that little because he fades away at this point. I told him he's not a, he's not a fighter. Fast forward to this past weekend, I'm in uh, Oklahoma City for Invicta. I'm looking down, walking out the hotel lobby, and I hear that, "Oh, it's Mike Jackson," and I was like, "I all hear the Irish accents." So I turn and look, I see a guy and a girl. Come to find out, it's Patty Houlihan, who it was, and uh, and Shana here, the old girl's uh, baby mom. So, but in the moment, I don't have no idea who this is. So I was like, oh, shit, Irish people. And I was like, y'all must be Dean Barry people. I keep walking. Next day, I see him at the weigh-ins. Same thing. Oh, Mike Jackson. And then they're like, yo, let's take a selfie like the chick is. And I was like, all right. So we take a selfie. And then she's like, you know who I am? And I was like, no. And then her crazy, heavy British or uh, uh, Irish accent, she's like, I'm Dean Barry's baby mom. And I'm looking, and my brain finally said, Oh shit! And it finally registers what she says because mm-hmm. you know that shit's so heavy. Yo, I it was it was a hysterical moment because they also think Dean Barry is a piece of shit, and then they would say, yo, they was giving me all the business, all the tea. <laughs> they was like, yo, he don't pay for his kids, he don't do this, and I was like, y'all don't know me. <laughs> yeah, go everywhere. But I enjoyed it though. But it, it was one of those moments. They, I know, I wasn't expecting to run to them, and I know for. a for the fact, they didn't they didn't expect to run into me, and in that moment, they started had this connection. So, following her fight, we're getting back on the bus, going back to the hotel from the venue, and she was like, "Yo, you we gotta take a real selfie," and I was like, "Or a pic," and I was like, "Cool." So she stands up over me, and she has her arm around me, and I just see like her eye, like her fingers right here, and in the moment, I'm like. Yo, your hands in the way, like you're blocking my face for the picture. <laughs> but then, as Patty's sitting out taking a picture, she fucking like she grabs my eye. Now, 
in the other moment, I probably be like, yo, bitch, tell me. But for the for the content, for the picture, I had to let her poke the eye a little bit. To okay. make it real. It had to be authentic. <laughs> and so I was like, yo, send that to bitch ass Dean Barry whenever you ask for your child support. But I don't know. Say anything back? Nah. Yeah, has he seen that? What do you really yet? say back to that though? And then like, I was like, yo, if I fuck this chick. I don't know if she was with somebody. It didn't matter. I don't know. It's a goalie in hockey. You still try to score, so. Yeah. I thought it was yeah. fun, though. Score at all costs. Not, and again, I, I, I'm just crazy talking shit, but just to piss him off, dude. Like, Because you was, that was, and then I told the story, she was the girlfriend with the baby that was in my and, DMs. And so his name's Dean Barry, right? Dean Barry. Dean, Dean Barry. Barry. What is Dean right. up to these Dean, days? Dean, a whole lot of nothing. Dean, I'm sorry that, that we have to put this out there, Dean, but just pay your child support, Dean. All right? Be a good man. Where's Dean Barry at? Is he in Ireland? Oh, they had to deport his ass, I'm assuming. Doing but, uh, shit. <laughs> get out of here, Dean is. Barry. But yeah. shout out to Dean Barry. Don't cut too much weight. We don't want your kidneys C-word. to fail. <laughs> you know? Uh, Got to take care of your bills. <laughs> so, yeah, that's my that's, that's been going on with the truth. Our nemesis is Dean Barry. <laughs> yeah, and every time I say, I just got shit. Yeah, my whole thing is like, yo, you didn't have to say I quit. I took that personal. Yeah, you should. I took that personal. Yeah. Because now that's in the whole internet. They got headlines. Mike Mike Jackson don't, quit. Don't worry about that, bro. Why We're going to put it out there that you didn't quit. Guys, Mike didn't fucking quit. <laughs> Dean was cheating. Dingleberry quit. Dingle, Dingle, Dingle dude was cheating, okay? If I he like wanted that. to do backyard brawling shit, he should have signed up for backyard brawling. This is professional mixed martial arts. There's that's a set of rules saying. you have to follow. And, uh, Which is crazy because Chris Tyone was a ref, and he comes back, and the first thing he says was like, "Yo, I'm checking for nut shots and eye pokes." That was the first thing. First yeah. thing he obviously came not. Out. Yeah. Nah, he well, checked for him. Uh, he, yeah, he, yeah, he checked. He you know, the I first like, one. Well, I was like, after the second guys, one, they, they, the, dick. the first, no, the inside leg kick was the first one that. No, no, well, the first one was an inside leg kick. And the second one was. And then I remember when he. I mean, it kind of like I kind of like cup checked a little bit, but then I looked at Chris. Was like, I wonder if he saw it. Well, after the spinning joint came, I'm laying, I'm rolling on the ground like, fuck this dude. And then he comes over. He was like, I, I, I saw the first one. And it, it, at, in <laughs> agony, I'm like, all right, cool. And like, he was paying attention. But it's like, it doesn't <laughs> oh, is make that what you were talking though. about on the ground? Point, well, I was yeah. fucking like, that was, okay. It, basically what it felt like, uh, if someone had a tie plum and fucking just ran their knee. That's what it felt yeah. like. The only other time in life I felt that pain I was probably like seven or eight years old, and I was on a I was on a bicycle. You know, the adult bicycles got the the flat bar across. Yeah, I was pedaling one day and I hit a curb. Oh, and, and I you jumped up on the ju- and instead of coming back on the seat, oh. I landed on the bar and I was like, Fuck, that was that was the equivalent. Which one was worse? I mean, yeah, real was, shit from the shitter. Which one was worse? <laughs> it had to be the spinning joint, which was crazy. Like. That was the the whole camp. Like, I figure g- opponents I'm going to have, they're going to have, like, their specialties, right? Dean's shit was the spinning back joint, right? I was like, I know this is what we training for. I brought in some little dudes to kid it. And I remember a 45er caught me with one. I was like, all right, we can't get hit with that shit in a real fight. <laughs> yeah. And then in the fight, I saw it coming, stepped out the way, but because he, he had poor technique, it landed on the joint. And I was like, yo. It burned. It felt like my balls was on fire. But yeah, Lewis balls is hot. That's it was hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it was hot, bro. It was hot. Guys, that was a hot take. Sorry we got to do this. We got to cut this one off. But on that note, remember, don't get kicked in the dick. That shit really hurts. Uh, don't get kicked down low, period. And uh, if you do, make sure it's Manscaped because you never know if the doctor's going to have to go yes. down there and pull yeah. off I a I thought you only owed one balls. post, too, oh now. Oh, my gosh. Two yeah. posts? Two yeah, I think you're supposed to head now. Yeah. Three posts, Manscaped, cool. you owe me a check. Bada bing, yeah. bada bang, we're gone. No, Dustin, well, got anything to say? Are you any fights coming up? Yeah, yeah. actually, uh, we, we, we head out. We head out next week. We uh heading out to Vegas. We got P. Rodriguez. Oh. Uh, I think this is even a is going to be a better matchup than than Dick Kick Dingleberry. So. Yeah, Dingleberry. <laughs> Dingleberry. <laughs> Dingle, Fuck you, Dingleberry. Dingleberry. I like that. Yeah. So I'm excited. You so, C yeah. word. Back in that thing next week. Let's October go. October 15th. Make sure you Start go to Instagram. Light. Everyone, go to Dingleberry's DMs and just <laughs> fuck with them. For that. Yeah. Please do. Yeah. For some Dean shits Bear. and giggles. Yeah. Shits and giggles. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, we're ready. How's it going? What's good? What's going yeah. on? What's good? What's going on? Realize, recognize. Road trip. Yes, Episode sir. Episode number Realize, four. Three. 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 Oh, two, one. Part two. It's, it's extended part two. three. Season 18. Yeah. <laughs> Episode four. <laughs> yeah. Season uh, six. Fucking... Yeah. 55 into the 44. Yeah, we're going. We're episode yeah. three. Road Pushing. trip. 
Road trip. We're, go, we're road trip. Getting through. We're exhausted already. Road it's trip. tough, yeah. <laughs> Life on the road for a podcast bro celebrity is tough. You know, on especially, episode number three. especially when it's like really just... <laughs> We keep hearing the camera guys over there, the cozy bros talking about they're a two man wrecking crew. Like we ain't did yeah. shit. Like we yeah. didn't move this table. <laughs> they're the bro. talent. They're Come the on. talent. Like, what's man, they help lift the table. Like, I tell them. You you look, yeah. guys. So this this is right here. It's my fam. It's my cousin. It's Chico. Our teenage Chico yes, Young. Indeed, indeed. Owner of my fight shop. Boom. Also MMA fighter, entrepreneur, coach. My man does it all. You know blessed what I'm saying? Up, blessed up, man. Running it. You know, yeah. trying to run the run the bloodline right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Trying to trying to show up proud. So I'm trying yeah. to get like him. How you doing? Man, good, man. Good. good, 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 man. Working hard, trying to, you know, stay in the grind for sure. Yeah. For sure. I, I love the shop, by the way. If you Thank don't know, you, bro. Where, this is an awesome shop. Where's the what's the address here? Uh 11225, 12525 Jones Road. That's Houston, Texas, 77070. Stop by any time open seven days a week. Yes, yeah, so if you need to get some gear, you need to come check it out. This place is nice. For yeah, sure, fantastic. for sure, for sure. How we're long open. has it been open? Man, we've been open like three years now. Three years nice. and a couple months, man. We uh, just hit that point because yeah, it was the same day I dropped my daughter off at college, her first day at college. My oldest was the same day I drove down seven, eight hours, got here, and made the deal to buy this store. So, yeah, for sure. I, I love ready. it. What, what made you get into this and how did this come about? See, man, I, you know, I started out in the game. Fight myself. I jumped in the game late, right? So I was just, you know, doing what you know, doing what we do out here. What did you say? You didn't even start until you were thirty. Yeah, man. <laughs> crazy. I started. I, I, I was, you know, I lived a different lifestyle before. So this thing, this was like an afterthought. This yeah. was like something like, oh, you know, okay, I'll try, like whatever, like let's see if it works, right? Because I like to challenge, challenge myself anyway, and I had been promising myself, my, you know, me and my family, I was going to try to switch it up. So I was like, okay, this is something, an avenue I can try to switch it up. But all the naysayers and. You know what I mean? Everybody, oh, he's too old. He never done this. He never done that. How you gonna jump, jump into this? Whoop, whoop. You know what I mean? This, that, and the third. I was like two sixty five, almost two seventy. Wow. So I was a big boy, um, fresh out, just living a living a crazy lifestyle. And um, yeah, I tried it out. Shit, I tried it out, and man, I went in there. And by the by the time I first sparred, shit, I realized I wasn't doing the same type of thing that they was doing in the cage. I was doing outside the cage, and I, that that made me fall in love with it. So during that whole little path, man, looking for gear and always having to travel around, I went to the West Coast for a while, trained under some good camps, under great coaches. Um, I noticed coming back here to Houston, Texas, third largest city in the nation, right, that it didn't have a fight shop that we can walk into and really find, like, dope shit on the cool. You know what I mean? That was, like, my vision. Like, that was, like, I was, like, like where's the dope shit? I'm tired of ordering the wrong shit, getting shit, right, going around the other spots, seeing stuff, and I'm, like, okay, I can see this stuff on the West Coast over here. I can walk into a store every now and then. But even then, there was like really basic stuff, and I was like, yeah. "Man, we need a spot that's more than just some basic stuff." Man, my so fight I, shop I had a, yeah, man, we had we had a vision, man, and my fight shop, man, had became like that vision, man, for sure. So far, so brought good. the stuff for you, and it's kind of cool. Yeah. Kevin's unretired now at thirty, so you guys hey. both got started in the game at thirty. <laughs> yeah. Both started yeah. in the game yeah. at thirty. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming, man. That's what's I, up. I really, really love the shop. I mean, uh, Thank you. first time coming here. The gear that you got, the colors are popping. It's, it's set up really nice. You know, it's next door to Four Ounce. I remember Four Ounce from, you know, first time ever really coming the H-Town way when I got yep. the chain, train with Sage Northcutt. So that was pretty yep. cool. So, uh, yeah, this is, to me, this is dope. Definitely think that we need something like this back in the DFW. Hey, uh, hey. 100%. You know, because uh, this is fire. I mean, there needs to be. And y'all are just, just seeing the corner. My big mouth coming soon. Yeah. Yeah, y'all just seeing the corner. <laughs> coming soon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, definitely definitely one coming soon. Definitely yeah, one coming soon. That, definitely need that. to get that done. Even yeah. my man Dustin. Dustin came in here. Dustin was blown away. So uh, I was like, I was just trying to buy stuff. I was like, let's skip the podcast. <laughs> yeah. was like, nah, let's just man, buy stuff. That's a blessing, man. We worked hard. Honestly, it was one piece at a time in this store. There was no like point where it was like, oh, we're gonna go out and buy some tables and displays. And no, if you came yeah. here, you seen it. It was all one by one. Literally, the displays you're seeing, all this stuff was one by one. That's awesome. You literally changed these, these not long ago. Like it was, they were warped. They were warped boards that were there for a long time. One by one, piece by piece. None of this stuff was like some oh come up. Nah, it was just a believing sure. taking yeah. the taking what we got and like put it back in. Take it, but put it back in. You know what I mean? I was driving in a hoopty. I was, you know what I mean? But I was good though. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was yeah. doing. I knew I had a I had a vision. I had to wait. I knew I was gonna work. And God is good, man. So yeah, it's this. I appreciate those those words because honestly, every piece in here was hand picked and hard work for it, no doubt. Three years, right? Which is the hardest thing. Most people don't realize the entrepreneur is that. 
you open this business, you don't just start making money. Right? You, you struggle. <laughs> you're, and the money you do what? make, you got to put back in. Yeah, right? man, I was so, literally paying rent out of my pocket. One of my buddies, man, was so kind of to, so kind of to, to inform me that the first month I really thought I made enough money to pay the rent. I was excited. He was like, you didn't make that much. He's like, because you it's a retail store, so it takes money to make money, right? Yeah, so I'm only getting product. a certain, and the percentage ain't big. So he's like, well, if you made only that much, then think about it, you really, I'm like, oh, damn, you're right. I'm still paying out my pocket, right? And that uh, and that went, oh, shoot, oh, malfunction. <laughs> Good, uh, yeah, so that went on for a little minute. And, you know, God is good, man. I just kept believing and kept bringing in new stuff, man, and, and supporting the boxing community and, and different communities that are out there. In the MMA, like, not just MMA, right? Not making it just an MMA store. There's some dope nostalgic stuff. If you don't, I mean, if you don't want to do sports at all, but you just want some dope gear, yeah. there's some stuff in here that you might like. You know, this one shirt right here, there's still a lot of stuff that just, you know, in fashion, that's still dope. So that's what my fight shop kind of, you know what I mean? So I appreciate that word, them words for sure. Oh, we got yeah, little technical good. difficulties, yeah. No, yeah, we're good, though. We're yeah. good, though. Look, I'm, road, look I'm, I'm... Road show. Yeah, I'm, yeah we are. I didn't miss a beat. <laughs> what? Yeah. Hey, hey, he didn't even miss a beat. My yeah, man, I'm he just working, cool working, 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 advertising, yeah. Yeah. getting it all done. All right, all right, that's what happens. Uh, I, I just want to put it on the record is that the Cozy Bros set that up. So the two man wrecking crew. Oh, the two man wrecking crew. Definitely a wrecking crew. Wrecking crew. Yeah. Yeah. Little humility over wreck. there in the corner. Yeah. Little humble pie. Yeah. yeah. And you know when you guys do those little edits you do? How about you guys pop your face up right yeah, there around right those moments? Yeah, that'd be really yeah, nice. Yeah, exactly. These yeah. guys. So, cause I got some, I got some questions, man. Yes, man. Come questions. on. These questions. Good these questions come from the T Jones. Okay. Hey, man. Uh -oh. Let so, me know. Tell me about popcorn balls. Wait, popcorn balls. Hey, what? Hey, what? Oh. Man, I love my, my, my big cousin. <laughs> so who don't know, man? This really, this is really like my little cousin, my his family. This is it's crazy yeah. how the, how this world works. So my my oh, big cousin, go, uh, which is who he's talking Second about, right? Time. So my cousin Tunchi, she this that's his mama, right? So and we grew up doing all kind of crazy shit, right? Like dope shit together, like really really dope, having fun, doing all kind of dope shit together. And so one of the things that we used to do that I be trying to bring back still today Pop on a cool. Is making popcorn balls. Man, we so we used to look. So my mom, my mom was like, she was born on Christmas. She real festive lady, festive lady. God bless her soul, right? So that's Mama Machine Gun. I'm the Machine Gun Young, knowing this fight game, and, and that's Mama Machine Gun. She's always been a big part of everything I've always done, and and uh, just growing up, man, she was real dope. And anyhow, so she like <laughs> she used to like host these little parties for us and stuff, right? Yeah. And so popcorn balls was like on Halloween or something, like coming up. Yeah. Oh, we about to be in there making popcorn balls, man. We're going to have our hands buttered up. She's going to let us be in the kitchen, butter up our hands, making popcorn balls, which is like with popcorn with marshmallows, like just yeah. like a Rice Krispie Ooh. treat, but with popcorn. And then we used to put food coloring in them for the different and have them all in the you know, little <laughs> bowls. And you'd be walking around, and we'd be partying and eating sweets all day. Yeah, man, that's, that's, you know what I mean? that's one of the things me and, my, me and my family used to do. And yeah, so it's, it's always really dope how full circle this really is. Yeah. Like, People see this and it's really cool. I, I, my little cuz, man, on the cool is one of the best and most fucking, in, in, you know what I mean, influential pieces in the sport that I live in. That's an awesome thing to look back. Crazy, go I, I get to look at Appreciate that like that. crazy. You know what I mean? Like, I talk about all the time to my lady. I'm like, man, that's some, like, that's some real shit. Like, yeah. don't, don't, like that's, how, that's how real this really is to me. I don't care about none of that shit. I'm like, this is my little cuz on yeah. the cool. Like since day one, when he first was coming up, little nigga crazy nigga, he would have fought me back on the way, on the way up. No real shit. What? He's like fight nigga, me. This nigga was crazy, he, but he has it in his blood. It's in his blood. That's yeah. where we come from, right? And I used to tell everybody like, "Man, hold up, that's my little cousin. That's yeah, that's my cousin's little baby. That's that's you know me." Smack him around a yeah. few times. Hey man. <laughs> then finally, we got to train together and stuff. He's as dope as is he's dope awesome. as everybody as everybody was saying he is, and on the cool like. I love what he's doing. I love this whole thing that y'all doing with him. This whole this whole movement is it's live, man. It's, you know, and I and I'm here at you know what I mean still holding it down. I'm doing my thing in the sport. I'm trying to give back to the sport with the stores. You know, hopefully we open the doors on a few more. But yeah, man. So it's like yeah, that 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 upbringing is what made me right there. That yeah. I, I always think that in those days and, and 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 you know mom's being there with that. But yeah, that's popcorn balls one time. So. We gonna we gonna we gonna hold on. We gonna have our two man wrecking crew put SpongeBob up for like a, a quick second, so we can say five minutes later. No one's yeah. ever gonna want to come on our show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is, uh, our microphones fall on people. Uh, no, it's just man down. It's like this part. Don't, don't worry, though. I'm, I got a difficult question. Another difficult uh -oh. question. Okay. Put it on the hot seat. You going on for real? 
he ain't gonna want to answer this one. <laughs> he's like, he was like, he was like, and, and, and you know, and you know, and uh, and uh, <laughs> and it's just leaning forward. Hey, you know what I mean? Stay focused. Yeah, yeah. Get cute. That's that entrepreneur shit, man. You're used to spending so many plays. You're like, right, you're like oh yeah, <laughs> this is another play running that. Let's go. And and did a better job than they yeah. doing to tighten it up. Yeah. <laughs> we're buying stands for the next one. I'm ordering ordering stands. Are these? Yeah, just let's let's go. We can go to Best Buy and scoop these. Yeah, maybe it's because it's extended out. We're gonna yeah, we're going after this. Best Buy need to road sit back trip. More? Yeah, can yeah. You, oh, there you go. Yeah, there. Let's do a little math here. here. Collapse it. Yeah, collapse it all the way down. So I just slide up. In. It needs to come back yeah. down this way. Does, that, does it push back this way or no? Is the table like uh, maybe move it or something? Want to move it it's right here? So we need to, yeah. Um, we could just start it up or start back. Oh, yeah. That looked like it just snuck in there better. Yeah, that's it. Hopefully. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. Look better. Yeah. Bing, 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 bing. Bada bing, bada bang. After <laughs> the this thing. Hey. Maybe a one man. Yeah. <laughs> round two. One minute break. Get him, coach. Back to it. It's round two. Yeah, yeah. SpongeBob bang, came bang, in. Back in this thing. You ready for us? Go. Okay. So, yeah. Popcorn balls, right? Mm. Talking about popcorn balls still. Who made them better? Your mama or Nana? Ooh. <laughs> Careful. Oh, my auntie. Wow. And you know they both watching right now, too. You know, oh, you, ooh, you said you had one. Careful. Both of them. They both make great popcorn bro. That's oh, a sell. Yeah, he might want to stick with it right there. Right 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 he ain't going to be able to sleep, sleep, sleep right yeah. tonight. He's going to be like, yeah. oh, man. Who damn. made him right? Who made him better? You ain't you dirty. <laughs> ain't lie, he might, hey, I'm on the cool. Yo, Nana really probably top my mama on the cool. She oh. might have top mama. Because, hey, man, look, man. I'll call the judge, man. You know me? Shout out, like, of course, man. It's family. Funny thing. You Real quick side note, you know you ran into my brother the other day at the when you was in LA at the boxing match. For real? Yeah, 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 yeah. When I was with David. That's my yeah, yeah. That's, nigga, that's yeah. what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh man, I was yeah. like, oh, that was a that was a big moment for me. I was yeah. We always chop it up about I, I, I was so done taking pictures, but then when he said who he was, I was like, all right, let me I know, man. That was a blessing, man. That, 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 I, I, I was like, man, that made me feel I seen that man, I was like a picture I I I hold tight like I'm like, damn, cause we chop it up all the time, you know what I'm saying? He don't get to just He's just getting into the sport himself real late. You know what I'm mean? calling the cool. So, so yeah, but anyhow, will, go. Will come he on. Be here, but will he be here for the Halloween party? Because I see you trying to keep that tradition alive. Again. Let go. Yeah. I'm trying I to for show the Halloween I, party. I, 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 hey. too. Now? I want well, they're having a Halloween sure party. Maybe, well, maybe have the podcast a can be invited. For show. Yeah, let's, let's go. go. I hope y'all in H-Town come balls. on, man. It's going to be a nice one. I promise. Yeah, Popcorn ball. Yeah. For show. Couple days before the real Halloween too, right? Yep, couple days. So you have a little time to get Yeah, get back to the kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I promise you on that night, you're going to enjoy yourself. You're going to enjoy yourself. Come dressed up, man. Come dressed up. I'm ready. I love the go. costumes, right? All right, I'll be yes, back. Yes, costumes, for show sure, costumes. Yes. yes. All right, cuz oh, so one last yeah, thing I got to ask. Come you. on, baby. Being come from on. California, did you ever skateboard though? Oh man, you know what? I did skateboard for sure. The answer to that is yes. Yeah. But damn, is that is that what happened right there? No, that's that's, that's from the UFC yeah. mat. No, I don't follow I, my skateboard, bro. Say, man. Hold on. I didn't uh, realize. <laughs> That's from the skateboard. He was, he was trying to warm it up in the parking lot. Nah, I don't follow him. Hold on. Bring, I maybe I was practicing. This. I might bring out a skateboard. That's why he brought the truck. Can get out of here right quick. What you know? Do you have the skateboard in the truck? No. Don't lie. Don't no, lie. My boy Austin Powers is out there sitting there, and he's been talking about how he's going to beat me, so I'll, I'll only bring it when yeah. he's not around. So you brought it. <laughs> no. Remember you how we were talking, we were talking about Mike earlier, and he was talking about how like people with different races can do this and do that. Well, them white boys can skate like a motherfucker. Trying to stay away from skate. I would never go that far, you know. Yeah, I would never go that far. Yeah, yeah. I think I can say that and get away with it, right? Right. Yeah, yeah. Long as we don't give you your black card, you're good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't have that yet. Not with that chain on. You can't say something like that no more. I can't say with the chain on. Yeah, with the chain on. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah, that, no, um, yeah. You kind of like opposite Dave Chappelle right now. That's yeah. funny, man. Yeah, you know, it's worse, but uh, you know it's fun, man. But I, I, I fuck myself up too many times on that. I, so I, I still be on all kind of crazy shit, dirt bikes, everything, everything. But I, yeah, I never got it. Like my brother, actually, uh, we was talking about that nigga. He can stay. He can skate where his ass off. Me. Nope. It's gonna be a show. I'll get on that mug though, cause I grew up doing that shit. Oh, yeah. Grew up on the border in Cali. It's a weird thing in the hood. Yeah. So we, we was on skateboards. Then we ran to the beach every day. We raced, right? So in my hood, I live right to so close to the beach, like two miles. 
We'll be like, all right, nigga, last one in the water gonna get jumped. Like, we, I mean, we rush, race all the way down around the corners, woo woo, jumping fences, get to the last one in the water. Like, we, we swam on the daily at the beach, on the cool. I mean, he hopped on skateboards, bikes, all that little crazy shit, but we was just on some, you know, California man. lifestyle. Yeah, California lifestyle. Weather's well, always good I for it. Yeah. Me neither. Nah. Z- no, hell no. And I don't. All right, because what? You can't? It's like you would be able to get on the board. I don't know. I could skateboard. Who, me? I was like, that's racist. Because I'm white? Just because I'm white? I thought I could skateboard. He looks like a, he probably snowboard, surf, you know, a little bit of all of it. You haven't snowboarded, though? No, I don't snowboard. Have you snowboarded? Never. I don't do any of that. I've been on a snowboard once, but I ain't never, like, I wasn't even strapped in. I just hopped on the thing, slid down the hill, and was like, yo, So that's a a done deal. We're doing this. Yeah, I got to. Hey, hey, Road trip. Road trip podcast. Road trip podcast. <laughs> on a snow. It's going to be a like Salt Lake or somewhere in Colorado when, it, when it's in season. Let's do this. It's, it's about that season, ain't it? Not yet. It's coming up. It's coming up. We get when is it? Somebody Road up trip podcast. <laughs> we got to go snowboarding. I'm down. Everybody I'm wants down. to see it. The people want to see it. Man, look. Only if you bring the popcorn in, ball. Tap in. Y'all you want to see it Tap do in if you want to see the show on the road. You want to see the show on the road? Do you want to snowboard? Leave really it in the comments. In. Oh, and we need, we need, hey, we'll get and you we skis. need another one. You want to ski? You look okay, like a ski. You're the type of person to ski. Okay. You don't have a nickname. We need to get you a nickname. Oh, yeah. Everybody help us find a nickname for her. Guys, she was mad because we got Dustin Bussin. You know what I mean? Dustin Bussin. The haters be in the comments. We get no love in the comments. But <laughs> hey, that's all a good love. Thing. Yeah, all hey, love. Look, man, the haters, the haters uh, are boosters, man. The but haters are boosters. We man. need a nigga. Look, yeah, gonna, but she gets we got, We're going to read a couple of these. Here we you know, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's hear some of this. Ready for this one? One guy, uh, Cooper Thornsberry. That sounds like Dingleberry. Maybe that's the same guy. <laughs> oh, Might be the same like, guy. He said, oh, let's wow. go, Wonder Boy. Just don't what? be a dick. Oh, yeah, that's fucking, that's <laughs> Just fucking what Dingleberry. What a dick. Captain He's Dingleberry. a Dingleberry. This guy right I here. I retired for you guys. Yeah, let's see what happens. Are you Gosh. ready for this one? IG Coronado 702 says, where's the grape soda? LOL. That's just, you're just a racist dick. That's, That's for, not that, funny. Yeah, Terrence, see what you didn't start it. Gosh. <sighs> At a high level. Do you even like grape soda? Watermelon. Yeah, see, I like orange soda, so joke's yeah. on you. Hey, and this, one, this one might hurt you a little bit. <laughs> Lynn Dub said, why would you fake retirement, bro? You lost me as a fan. Focus on your fighting skills and not your jokes, man. Did Hamza painfully teach you that? Uh, we're, let's shut down the show. We, you yeah, lost we Lynn Dub as a fan, and it's with two ends. Lynn Dub, so it's a wrap. That's the end of the season. Yeah. Is that a guy or a girl? We can't move That's on. Lynn Dub or Linda? Lynn Dub. He's it's a guy. Lynn Dub. Yeah. Oh yeah. Lost. Oh shit. Yeah. That's uh, what was that word we were talking about earlier? Cut. You cunt. Who cunt? <laughs> complete C word. It's complete C word. I'm gonna oh say it. You God. cunt. Fuck you, guy. Oh, Sorry, God. Linda. Nice. Come back soon. Hey, hey, <laughs> I win the Wonder Boy fight, Linda. You'll what? be back like you never left before. <laughs> the, gir- the, the girl is bad as fuck. Well, hope you're not married, buddy. Your wife's going to see oh, that one. thank you. What's his yeah, name? Yeah. What's his name? Put him out there. <laughs> we got, we got, who's this guy? Oh, my God. These guys in the comments. Well, leave in the comments. These are funny. What do we got? <laughs> <laughs> Hamza ate you for lunch, bro. Wouldn't be surprised if Wonder Boy didn't finish you. Well, you yeah. could actually, you could act, this guy could be a co-host because Damn, I love it. these are rough. Hey, man. one of you guys are gonna have to join my bully beatdown on you little trolls out there. Can we do that conversation? <laughs> Shout out you know? to the bully beatdown you yeah. on these boys. Let's yeah, go. you know going. what? Hey, that's what we should do. The greatest troll. Going. I'll personally fly them in and pay for their hotel. There so it the is. biggest troll in the comments, you motherfuckers. Yeah, you can come <laughs> in. I will pay for yeah. your hotel and flight and bully beatdown. And and, 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 and yes. this this is my thing. And, like, yeah. call your shot. Call what you're going to do to me. Because whatever you say you're going to do, I'll give you a, some extra money on top of that. I'll give you $1,000 hey. on top of that and if I'm you do what you say you're going to do. I'm going to sit on the side and watch, so you will have to fight him in front of me. <laughs> there you go. I'm absolutely. And, 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 and Derek will be there to, uh, you know, to oversee the whole thing. That's the referee. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> this guy, look at this, this dude. John Benton here says, just so in case you were wondering, just FYI, we're going to circle back with this guy. Yo, Trailblazer. That's your name, by the way. I and I think you absolutely have a spot in the uh, podcast space. So you're officially a podcast bro. Oh. I hope you reconsider retirement, but if not, I get it. With that being said, I don't dislike the dude co-host, but I think it'd be better without him. That's just fucking rude, God. <laughs> God. Bro, Damn. I still love shot, you. Man. It's just out, out of here. Why are you doing Dustin like that? They're hating on your chain, bro. That's what it is. Uh, it's, it's haters going to hate. Shots. It, it, hey. uh, top Gamer said, wow, that chick is bad as fuck. 
Top Gainer. Thank you. Shout yeah. out Top Gainer. Love. All love. <laughs> they just yeah. call you a chick. All they keep calling you a chick. They never even say your name. Love. He, that's that's like, not even a woman. I'm the show. I'm on the show. <laughs> He's getting racked off. <laughs> all love. That's, that's right. Up. Bully that's beat down. Up. Yes, we're going to fly. Best comment is going to get come in. I like that. Good. Yeah. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. So Appreciate y'all coming. And you know what? Guess what? And they'll come out and we'll buy them some fight gear. So they're prepared. For my fight shop. That's perfect. So there you go. Yeah, in there. there you go. Yeah. This is gonna be great. Uh, are we doing small gloves or big gloves? You tell me. Let yeah. him pick his poison. I'll, I'll pick let, the poison. let him pick. Pick the poison. Sign a waiver. I'll fly. If you, in, if you guys do hotel, small gloves, you can wrestle him a nice better. Backpack. No headgear though. Yeah. yeah. Nice no headgear. Yeah, no, no, they, they can wear headgear. Mm. We'll see. We're we'll guard. see how deep the comment okay. is. Mouth guard is fair. Mouth, mouth guard. Yeah. Mouth guard. Mouth guard. They can wear headgear if they mouth want. Guard. Speaking of mouth guard, I'm about to buy me a couple mouth guards. Hey. Speaking of gear. Speaking of gear. Yeah. Speaking of gear. Uh. For all the teammates that are in town right now, we're going to let them get some gear on us. That'll be the end of the Dang, segment. Because, though, tell out. everybody where they can find you at. You got any IGs? You got uh, any Twitters? My Fight Shop. At My Fight Shop all day long. At My Fight Shop. Come over right over here. 12525 Jones Road. We're right here, man. Seven days a week. Um, you know, We got everything from boxing, MMA, Muay Thai, kickboxing. You want it? We got it. We're bringing it in. We appreciate the love and support from everybody yeah. coming through. Official sure. boxing gear too. So official boxing gear. We're yes. one of the only places you can come and get a selection yes, of official nice. boxing gear. It's not just one brand. We're not forcing brands on nobody. It's here. It's not overpriced. It's here, right here. You can get the same day service, baby. We're gonna do there. So don't forget, we need a nickname in the comment section. Hey. The best comment. Is, yeah. Uh, and let these boys know we, they want to. You want to see us on the mountain? I want to be back yeah. for that show. Oh, I want to yeah. be back going. for that show. Snowboarding. Snow, snowboarding. Wait, who's snowboarding? Who in who in uh, UFC actor artist? Who's a who's a big time snowboarder? I don't know. There? We're, we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna find somebody. I don't know, but I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna slice them slow. We're gonna, gonna find somebody who snowboards. It's gotta be your favorite, right? He's gotta be a He's snowboarder. Be, bro. Yeah. That's kind of probably a surfer. I don't know if that's a surfer. Surfer is the same shit. Whatever. I don't might be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. No. It is. Hey guys, make sure you guys follow us on YouTube. Make sure you guys follow my fight shop on all yes. social media platforms. Yes. Bless you. Send us some proof that you did that and uh a whole selection of gear on us. Uh gloves, shin guards, mouthpiece, Dang. uh shorts, rash guard, but we're not buying you a fucking gi. Because I will not approve of you guys doing more jujitsu than me. We'll even throw in a, <laughs> a backpack to carry all your gear because those are dope. And Dustin's yeah, throwing in the backpack. Let's go. So all your gear will be sent in the backpack. Shout boom, out to my fight boom. shop. Shout out to. Much love. Uh, I can't think of any sponsors right now. Oh, shout out to Bow Valley. They're they're the first official sponsor that wants to throw some money towards the show and some products. So hey, let's, go. Yeah. let's do it. Let's go. It won't be an empty table here with just no, you know I mean? no, no. Yeah, just just some. me throwing trash. Yeah, on I, yeah. I, I couldn't bring a roof. I was like, oh, results, but uh, yeah, yeah. You can't we could have we could have threw a roof on here. Kind of. You need shingles. a little mobile home, little, little shingles, small, little ready to mingle. That'd be kind of home, <laughs> mobile home. That'd bring back to the good the old shingles. days. Uh, shingles, you gotta have the shingles. Shingles, shingles and ready to mingle. Yeah, sure. shingle that's ready to mingle every shingle day. Maybe we should do yeah. like a table that we fold up and take with us. That's made out of shingles. We, we already said that the one that you're gonna tag up with your. No, made out of shingles. Don't just have a shingles. table. Yeah, you gotta have a I like, table and with I like some that. shingles. Yeah. Shingles, yeah. shingles ready to mingle. Yeah. Shingles ready to mingle. Are we tagging this table up? No, this I'm, is your table. No, oh, I was saying, I'm ready. I'm ready to tag. tag, tag. Yeah, I'm from the West Coast. You know, that's one thing we do, man. We, I, you know, I'm ready to tag something. You say tag, or give me a marker there. Let's go. I mean, let's I'm go. In, I'm let's in. go. Right, well, on the next one. On the next, the next one. one. That's yeah, it. For sure. That's much it. Blessings, man. On. Much blessings to y'all, man. For sure. Appreciate, appreciate y'all, Thank mama. You. Thank it was you. Nice meeting you. Cause, man, love you, boy, man. Much blessings to the show and to y'all fellas individually. Appreciate that, man. Sure. All right, guys.